Hi everyone, my name is Jing Masinda and welcome to the first episode of The Director's Cut. So what is this show all about? This is all the funny... Th- oh shit, what is... This show is about all the funny things that happen in poker. And even if it's not funny, we'll make fun of it. So if you easily get offended, this is not the show for you. So turn that video off. Shit, I guess I should just stop and this is not the show for you. First one was actually better than this one. <laughs> Did I just like spit? <laughs> Everyone, we're actually doing our first episode of the director Scott, and who's a better guest than this funny guy himself, Mr. Joe Stapleton? You caught me at a really terrible but great time. Mm-hmm. Like this hour that I'm here is my only free hour. Okay, I just got done doing my show Poker Night Live literally moments ago. This is my wardrobe from it at the Gardens Casino, and tomorrow I fly to Monaco for the return of the EPT for EPT Monaco. So. This is like my only free couple of hours. I actually have a date scheduled after wow. this too. So yeah, so let's that's, just that's that, let's that's just, a grinder right there. But you know what? Thank you so much, Dave, for being here and for your support. So we just had this seminal hard rock poker showdown final yeah. table, and we had like one final table table list there, and this mm. was actually streamed in Poker Go, and his name is Jeff Filder. He's a two-time WPT Deep Stacks champion, and he's Deep Stacks. That's the show I worked on before the. The WPT bought it, and then they didn't need me anymore. So, Jeff Fielder. Yep. So, he has this moniker, or I would say like an AKA. Yeah. And then one of the tournament reporters asked him, he's like, oh, what's your name? It's like, oh, first name, uh, Dixon. It's like, okay, uh, how about your last name? It's like, um, you know, like uh, Cider, you know, like yeah, C-I-D-R. Pronounced Dixon Cider. Was he already a champion when he gave this Dixon nope, Cider? No, he wasn't a champion at the time. But like okay. I would say he was a champion at making... He was a champion troll. The yeah. name I always give is Pete Zahut. <laughs> Jeff so, Fielder, a.k.a. Dixon AKA Cider. A.k.a. Dixon Cider. So was in the final table of the Seminole Hard Rock Poker okay. Showdown in Florida. That's pretty funny, right? Seminole? <laughs> I always say they're always missing a trick at the Hard Rock by not having a bar called Seminole Fluids. <laughs> That's just, that's a no-brainer. You got to do it. I'm a very twisted and sad individual. A reporter, like, reported his name as, like, Dixon Cider, and then... Pike. Little lady scrolling through the chip. <laughs> <laughs> and then she made a final table. And he was involved in this hand. Okay, wait. There. Okay, there Jeff, on the button, there. five, four. Okay. So you guys oh, use the four-color graphics. Oh. That's cool. We use two. No big deal. Well, you know no, what? No, whatever. It's different. It's different. different. Yeah, it's fine. There you go. This is a very interesting All right, hand. So we've got Brian for us, Scott and Jeff. Mm-hmm. You got a so Dixon Cider, aka Jeff Fielder. Oh, Jeff. Four, All right, so he has flopped that? a four Maybe here and a Scott full boat. So why do people actually, or why do players really act like they have like you know like is their breath stinking or whatever? People or think it, you know what? You know, when they cover their. Mouth they think that there are a lot of mouth tells. Your mouth has like thousands of little muscles in it, right? Really? And so your mouth will flicker. Mm-hmm. So this is the dating part of the show or the poker part? Sorry, your mouth will flicker, <laughs> feeling happy or sad. There's just like you do slight little frowns or smiles and stuff. So people cover the mouth to cover those up. So at this point, Jeff makes a no good flush. This is which is actually a baby flush, right? Like. Can you see it? I can see it, but there's a there's a. We've been told there's a flush, but I only see four clubs, so it's a no good flush draw. He's got Yikes. five four of clubs. Yeah, that is one it's of the worst the not cards. Flush draw. Right, that's you know, clubs a really bad card for Jeff. Got Scott me. here acting like you know super chill. Super chill, but also who farted? <laughs> that's right. Let me guess what's gonna happen here. Club on the river. Of course. Hold on. Oh, I'm so good. Yes. Oh, my goodness. How did you guess that? I'm just, and he rivers a straight flush. Draw. By the way, it's Dave Farah and like Matt Waxman. Matt Waxman, yeah. Oh, Waxy. So I'll, I would say this. So, Matt Waxman. Yeah. My favorite non-pro. He's really? actually a pro. Oh. That's awkward. You don't think so? Matt Waxman, he's a WBD champion. So all in a call. Ooh. That's the face he makes. That's the face he makes. <laughs> that is a Dick's outsider. Yes. 
I'm sorry, Jeff. I guess you got a little bit cocky about that. Hey, here we go. Are we going to do a bunch of penis puns? Uh, look at him standing erect here. <laughs> sorry, he Jeff Fielder. Being ejaculated from the tournament. That no, doesn't work. That one is too far. There you go. What? That's a crazy highlight. I will say one thing for Dixon Cider. He has spunk. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's quickly move on from that one. Yeah, What's they next? They kind of like left a poor taste in my mouth, actually. Well, we're actually going to follow it up with maybe some bathroom talk. Wait, wait, it's going to get worse? I that wasn't bathroom up, talk? It's not. Do you think it's bathroom talk? Are it's, we we're going to talk about starting, dropping a deuces <laughs> from somebody? No, not really. Because, like, you know how it is? Like, it's just a big thing with, you know, within the poker community, how, like, players don't actually, like, wash their hands. I'm sorry. I don't care if people wash their hands when they go to the bathroom. If I was a girl, one of the girls, yeah, he was involved with, I would definitely be scared right now. You would be scared. What yes. are you? What are you scared of? You're scared of me touching the thing that you're. All right. So speaking of bathroom talk, so Alan Kessler tweeted something about this guy who was just in the bathroom, and he, this guy was apparently saying that. Oh, it's actually okay to, you know, just use hand sanitizer after using the bathroom. Look, I need to put some washing out. your hands after you go to the bathroom is one of those things that I purely do just to not catch any shit about it. Like it's purely lip service. I'm like, oh, I did something here. Who cares? You know why? Because I'm not peeing on my hands, and I might be touching a part of my body. But if I went, if I went like this and touched my elbow. I wouldn't wash my hands. Okay, but how do you if flush? How do you flush the urinal? Don't you like touch? I don't the... at all. You don't flush the urinal. First of all, a lot of places, by the way, and if I'm you're so not, so you so should so. be. They should be eco-friendly. Water your waterless urinals are saving tens of thousands of gallons a year. Hashtag Earth Day. Um, so I'm not touching the flusher. So look, I do wash my hands when I leave, but again, it's just so that people don't notice just... and then out okay. me. But having said that. I totally agree. Hand sanitizer is plenty. Now, here's the real question. Mm -hmm. Is the guy actually using hand sanitizer or did he ca get caught not washing his hands and then said, oh, but I use hand sanitizer as like a backup, as like, how am I going to get out of this one, Jim? You know, and imagine if you're a girl, when you wipe your thing off, right? Like, you, do you actually want to risk like getting germs like on the sides, even if you're actually like... Adults here, and we're all like our audience are actually. We're both like, adults, but we're not doctors. <laughs> keep it. Have me... you have you had a stalker before? Yeah. Oh, being sure. Being a popular yeah. guy. Well, what do you, you call being a stalker? Like someone looking for child support? Does that count as? No. Stalking? So speaking of stalker, yeah. um, I just think that Adam Kester has a stalker. You think Would... he has a stalker? I just think he has a stalker. Is that stalker and potentially this, named way... Alan Kessler? Because didn't no. didn't he create that? Wasn't there that whole thing where there was that? Account that was, it doesn't matter. Uh, Jing just brought this up now. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see this. So, I see what you're talking about now. Right. So there was this girl who, like, literally. This, okay. So I get like 10 friend requests a day with names like this. Mm -hmm. They always have three names. It's always like almost a real name. It's always like, I oh, would I. say this is a real person. This is not a real person. It is a real person. I actually went to the profile. Because, like. All right, let's bring up the so, profile. Okay, again. wait. The first thing I actually did when I saw all By the, the way, notifications. You know how I'm an expert at getting ghosted? What? How? I'm also an expert at getting catfished. And I know how to spot fake profiles. Okay, let's see. It. Look at Can her. Can I read her profile real quick? Can I read that out loud? Okay, yeah, sure. Um, wait, God we... will lift you up so high that no man will be able to pull you down in Jesus' mighty name. Not a sentiment I necessarily disagree with, but doesn't sound like a poker fan to me. She's not, and she's actually from Das Marinas Cavite, which is in the Philippines. Right, and I was going to guess that just based on... Her face? No, not based on her face. Are you crazy? Oh, this sorry. is 2018. You I can't am being guess someone's this right now, or? ethnicity based on their face. Are you nuts? However, mm -hmm. this is why I think that this is not... Okay, let's say that this is a real person. This why, is actually why Alan why has you... word spread through the world that like who's uh, who's the lonely guy out there? Because if so, I got a friend request from her. Am I? So I think it's a real person. Pretty much just looking for like a relationship, and Alan Custer happens to be 
like a person who announces to the world he's single and like willing to actually buy you a meal if he's got like a hundred dollar credit on resorts and casinos in Vegas or from based on a slot play. So I think it's. I actually agree with you at this point. Right. And I think that this is a real person, but not for the reasons you said, but because Alan Kessler is a hot piece of ass. <laughs> There you go. First ever episode of this show. You heard it here first. That's my hot take. Alan Kessler is a hot piece of ass. And they take over. And next thing you know, I'm eating Jing's brain. Really? It's pretty dank. There's some dank memes about my dating life. Uncle Daddy is going to take care of it for you. Sugar Daddy, you mean? Yeah, well, I like to put my own spin on it. Uncle okay. Daddy. You know why? Because I'm fun like an uncle, but I'll discipline you like a daddy. But this is Comedy Gold. Speaking of which, I'm at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles, yes. May 12th, 10 p.m. Check my Twitter for details. Uh, if you guys want to come. I will actually go will there. Will or Jing, yeah. I'll get you guys free tickets for sure. And bring your, uh, bring your old lady, Will. Don't tell her I said that because <laughs> my bruises have not healed from the last time.